Still. Yeah, the phone has to no, no. slide in. Be, be careful with your press the button. The right. yeah. Give me a minute. Sorry, guys. There you go, there you okay, go. That's cool. Better. It's All good. right, hello everybody. Hello. Mm, just moved. Okay. Okay. Hello. Guess where we are right now. Okay. It's obvious. I think not obvious. <laughs> hey, those people who are getting slides, but some give me a minute. I forgot to inform our staff. So by slides, but is coming. Okay. Don't catch up. First thing you need to do, you know the drill. Mr. Lu always tell you guys, you need to do what. Huh? <laughs> Today I got guests, don't make me paise, okay? People here, uh, you know, shoelace, I don't fit to tie, okay? Yeah, so can you please give me face by doing what I ask you all to do every time? No singing, you'll be surprised today, yes. Surprised today. Okay? Surprise. Yes, uh, guest appearance. Ching, good to see you, everybody. Hey, everybody, before you download Slides Plus One, don't can chong. Can you at least say hi? You all don't want to say hi to me, never mind. I say hi to B, it's say okay. hi to our guest. This, this is you and B's show, so it's okay. Hi everyone. Yeah, hi. okay. Welcome. All right, cool. Okay. okay, it's too far for me. Okay, don't worry. Okay. All right, we're Long going live right now. Okay. okay, today we got Hello. an important guest, okay? Today, in fact, uh, I don't know who is guest here because uh, although it's our channel, but uh, we are in other people's uh, office, okay? Today we are in, yes, thank you. Wow, this is the 200 talk. I think so, eh? Oh, yeah, wow. 200, uh, no, wow. 198, 199, yeah. one of them. Official one. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, from Japan, okay? Nice. Yes, Kylie, wow. good to see you. Nice. Okay, so <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, today we have got Mr. Sam Ree, you know? You know how big shot he is, not? Wow. You okay? <laughs> you know, we're, we're dear one, friend, dear friend, dear friend. One of the <laughs> co-founders, uh, one of the Tauke of Endowers, you know, how big Endowers is, not? And that always make premium more and one six I look like like that, you know or not? Yeah. Yo, for me to be able to invite him to here to give everybody his Kung Fu, huh? Is worth more than Hermes bag, man. Yeah, you agree, huh? So don't make me lao kui, you only know what to do. Give your warmest welcome to Mr. Sabri! Yay! <coughs> okay? Thank you everybody, it's great to be here. Yes. Okay. Today the format is this, okay? Today no handbags, huh? Today no handbags. Today is genuinely all solid investment talk. Okay. That's right. Okay. What we'll do and is a little bit of fun. <laughs> okay. And what we'll be a surprise. A little bit of surprise. Yes. So what we we'll do is uh, thanks, John. What we we'll do is that uh, we will have uh, <clears throat> okay. Everybody, uh, you send your questions over. Okay. If I miss the question, you know, after my question Q and A, uh, therefore that the question is over. You send your one. Okay. Now you blast all, I won't be able to catch it. Huh? Today I, I already got like 20 questions ready from the session. And that was the best. Wow, Piang. Okay, thanks. And that Thank was for giving you. Singapore a better way to invest. Thank you, guys. Wow, okay, yes. You know, Mr. Lu, I kid you not, nah. I kid you not, okay? Today the title is How to Invest and Sail Towards 1M50E. What is 1M50, okay? 1M50. Today, Mr. Lu is very proud to say that. Okay, wait. Okay. Today, my account uh, with endowers, uh, you cannot see, uh, is 721,000 ready, okay? You cannot see. 721,000 ready, okay? That's uh, so I'm very confident by end of this Someone year. Got it right. Chris got it right. Yeah, one it's million 1 million by 50. So I'm 49 right now. I'm 50 years old. Uh, uh, with an E for endowers, yeah, we're very confident of reaching there before my 50 is over. Thank you. Okay, yes, okay. So, so yes, uh, read Facebook, your interview by Taiwan Bravo. Yes, I just finished an interview a few days ago with a Taiwan. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. The challenging is talking Chinese, huh? Uh, yeah. You know, about <laughs> investment terms is uh, a bit not, not familiar. daunting, yeah. you know, daunting is the word. Yes. Uh, is uh, Jermaine up? Size plus one? Okay, please chase her. Wait, uh, slides coming, slides coming. Yeah. Okay, today we have a surprise guest appearance, okay? Me, the, my Chinese can, but I cannot use, you know, how do you say, how do you say, uh, uh, how do you say ordinary account, special account, many safe account, retirement account? How do you say dollar cost averaging? How do you say dollar cost averaging? Wow. 
Okay, okay. <clears throat> yes. All right. For those people who cannot get the slides on Facebook, you wait for a while. If not, you, know, you can just jump straight to YouTube. YouTube. We have a YouTube channel here. The link is there. You can download it. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Is it pin ready? <laughs> okay. So today, okay, today, okay, we have a. Uh, we have a you our usual songbird who will turn up okay today back from Korea, and she'll first present to y'all a great song okay now usually she sing known songs but YouTube got this terrible algorithm the minute we sing any song that's available in the market they will block our traffic oh, really? because copyright yeah wow. so she's gonna sing today a song that's written by someone I know thirty over years ago. Okay, in Chinese song, no, I'm not gonna sing. Okay, today is Kate Lu. Ah, I got no voice today. Okay, yes. Okay, if Lu told me, then I would have sang, but not this time. Yeah. Next time. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, put hands up. Welcome, Kate Lu. Kate Lu. Okay. All okay. right. Hi, everybody. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, uh, long time no see. Okay, not say very long, lah, huh? Okay. Um, YouTube haven't seen you for long. Yes, YouTube haven't seen you for a very long time. Hello, 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 everybody. Yeah, hello. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, to our and ours live stream, okay. So today, right, we're gonna do something a little bit more special, okay. As what my dad said, right, I'm gonna sing a Chinese song, okay. Uh, this is a very special Chinese song because uh, it is something that is not um released to public. By the way, slides plus one is up. Facebook, okay. You can actually type in slides plus one. Yes, hi Angela. Okay. Uh, yes. Hi SQ. I am very very happy to be home. <laughs> okay. Um, but nice yes. Kimchi. Too much kimchi. Yes. Yes. Hi, Chailin. It's okay. Yes. Hi, Wei Xiang. Okay. But this is actually um, a song that is not released to the public because this was written by my dad's friend. And then this was written not just by my dad's friend but also like 25 years ago. 30 over, 30 over years. years ago. Okay. So we all will not hear this song anywhere else except for this stream. Okay. Because the song is really just in us. Okay, so I'm gonna sing you this song. I it's also in Chinese, so I will not be looking at the camera. I'll be looking very intently at the lyrics. Okay, so yes, hello. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start the song. Okay, hope you all uh, enjoy it. What's the title of the song? It doesn't <laughs> even have a title. I call it Mong Mong, as in like dreams. Okay, so anyways, let's get started. Okay. Yeah. 
Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Come, Thank let's you. go back to finance now. Yes, now, everybody, uh, please welcome back Mr. Lu and Mr. Sam, okay? Thank you, Kay. Please amazing. pay attention to their finance talk, okay? <laughs> okay, oh, that wow. Brilliant. That's, that's amazing, right? That's okay. wonderful. That's amazing, okay? Wow. All right, cool, okay? So, today, yeah, thank you, all right, okay. So, again, you, for those people who just came in, we have, we are in Endower's office right now and 300 likes for Mr. Lu and two duet. <laughs> Good try, <laughs> yeah. no voice. Huh? Next time, we practice and then, and then we do it. So today we are very honoured to have uh, Sam with us. Okay, Sam uh, is the Chief Investment Officer and the Chairman of Endower's. Okay? I actually know Sam for quite a few years already, right? In, in, in the early days of Endower's, when nobody has heard of Endower's, okay? Uh, you know, I got to know him. He's a, truly a very humble man, you know. Uh, very humble, very down to earth. Uh, and uh, he was also, before Endowers, he was a Chief Investment Officer of Morgan Stanley, right? CEO. He was CEO of Morgan Stanley. So, so, so he's, he's not just a big shot, he's a big, big, big shot, okay? So I thought it would be great today he can come. You guys can ask him questions, but I've got quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, questions already, okay? But first of all, maybe we answer a few quick questions and I, I, I was about to ask a question but someone asked it, okay? Maybe Sam, uh, you, you can describe a little bit of yourself and also your co-founders, um, where they're from and things like that, especially yourself because you have a very colourful, uh, your accent is quite unique, you know, and uh, you have very colourful history. Maybe share a little bit about yourself, yes. Yeah, hi everybody, so excited to be here, um, you know, Lou, you saw B and Kate and the whole family. Um, love them. Really good friends. Um, love their videos and the YouTube channel. So please subscribe if you're joining for the first time. Amazing content. Really helpful for everybody. And lots of fun too. And you heard Kate singing. Amazing. I'm always amazed every time she sings. Thank you. Uh, so you've done a fantastic job raising <laughs> great kids, Lou. Thank you. Thank me. you. Yeah. Um, so really wonderful to uh, host uh, the Lou family here. Uh, but this is his show, and I'm a guest, so I'm very honored as well to be the, the here. The guest used the host, uh, <laughs> use the host, host house. Host the building. Use yeah. the guest house, yeah. <laughs> and okay. we get half price rent because Airbnb pays for half of it. We're subleasing <laughs> oh, still, cool. so we're very frugal. Um, so my background is that I've been in finance a long time, just investing. So I was an investor. Uh, but I grew up, I was born in Korea, so I'm originally from Korea. So the Liu family just got back from Korea, so really excited to hear how it, how it went. Uh, but when I was seven years old, I went to England. So I grew up in England, I, I came back to Korea for a little bit, went back, so most of my childhood education was in England. And then when I started working, I walked in England, you know, and then Hong Kong since 1999. So I was, I was in Hong Kong for about seven years in 1999. Uh, I got married and just when we had our first child, I moved down to Singapore. This was 2005, so I've lived here 17 years, going on to my 18th year. Uh, it's the longest I've ever lived in any, anywhere, all my life. I'm all over, but Singapore is like uh, the longest I've lived. It's my home where two of my three children were born, um, where I founded companies, I built my career. Uh, Indawas is a homegrown, uh, Singaporean headquartered financial technology company. Uh, that is in the wealth space. So we're trying to help solve wealth and investing. And um, as Lou introduced, I used to be at Morgan Stanley for a long time in the asset management side. So I was an investor, investing in Tencent and Alibaba and all these great companies for a long time, um, for 17 years at Morgan Stanley. And then I retired and left. And I founded in Dawas with my uh, friends and colleagues at the time. Um, so Greg, Yuning, Sinting, Ju, a lot of friends uh, from all over as well. Uh, Singaporean, Singapore PR, Hong Kong, married to a Singaporean, lived in Singapore a long time like me. But really because we call Singapore home and we invest our money, but it's so painful um, to invest because it's very onerous. CPF is very difficult to invest and it's very, very costly, very expensive to invest. And so it leads to poor outcomes, bad you know, returns, basically. And I knew, having been at Morgan Stanley, investing like a professional, that we can do this so much better. So we don't pay, GIC doesn't pay these high fees, 
Tamasic doesn't pay, Morgan Stanley doesn't pay, but an individual investing in Singapore always pays too high a fee. So Endowers is the solution to individuals so that they can invest like GIC, so they can invest like Morgan Stanley, invest like me and Lou. So that's, that's what Endowers is about, really to help everyone invest better. Okay. And one of the most important things is CPF. We're the first and only, for a long time, uh, digital wealth investor of CPF, and that was very intentional. So can I ask, uh, related to this, um, that, by the way, Kate Lou, yeah. someone said that your pimples is gone. I don't yes. know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Korean cosmetics? No. I would like to say that it was because of my Korea cosmetics, okay? Really? So if you missed out any of that, right, we'll actually be going back very soon. Okay, but this is actually wow. a premium mall like advertisement. Okay, but anyway. Nice. <laughs> I was joking, but it's true. Someone just said that uh, Sam looks so young. This is the power of Korean uh, Korean beauty and all this, right? It's coming on premium. We are more. both on the same age. I look 10 years yeah, older. That's terrible, man. Okay. No, I got same age. We're yeah, friends. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I want to ask uh, why is it that in the market, only yeah. endowers can have this monopoly uh, of selling SP 500, uh, sorry, buy, uh, that we can buy SP 500 using our CPF? Yeah. No other company, nowhere, no? Initially, I thought maybe you guys have it first for three months, and but now years have passed. Huh? It's still like that, you know. It's like, how do you manage to do it? Yeah, yeah. So there's um, some clarification. I think we're not the only ones, but we were the first to have a digital experience. So you have a mobile app, you have your web app uh, on your computer, and you can open an account. You can do CPF investment scheme account opening, start investing, and do all those things before we couldn't do it. So Indels was the first to do the digital, the mobile app and all that digital stuff. The second thing is, it used to be very expensive or S&P 500 was not available. <clears throat> so what Indels did was to bring S&P 500 into CPF so it's available. So because we were the only ones that wanted to do it, we were the only ones that we could invest through. Now, why was Indawa so desperate to get S&P 500 and passive index funds, global indexes into CPF? Because we think it's the best way to do it. So passive investing is around the world one of the best ways to invest long-term and grow your wealth, but there were none available. So we worked with our partners, Lion Global, Vanguard, and now recently Amundi, and our coming BlackRock um, is bringing their products as well. And we're going to bring Amundi funds, the lowest cost funds ever in existence in Singapore, into CPF. So that's how we solve the problem of having these things. But the last thing I want to say is that um, there's a lot of cost embedded. When a fund is distributed in Singapore, you buy through DBS or you know IFAS Fund Supermart, it's very, very costly. So we wanted to like make it a digital experience. So like Amazon, like Premium Mall, like you know, online means that it's a better experience and it's lower cost. So it's all about lowering cost for everybody because when you invest, cost is your biggest enemy. If you can reduce cost for the same fund, then obviously you're going to have better returns. So yeah. that's what Endowers is all about. Better experience with lower cost for individuals. We're always fighting for the individual to have better solutions. But you know what, you know, Sam, um, this is where mm. the whole world don't understand. You know, a person of your brains, your experience and everything, you know, you should be an expert now in spotting the bottom of the market, buying right at the bottom, yeah. and when market goes to the highest point, you sell and you buy, you sell, buy, you sell, and become filthy rich in the process, you know. Can you teach us, because Mr. Lu is quite dumb ass, right? I, I, I only buy the S&P well, fund and, and, <laughs> and NASDAQ, and I just let it compound and yeah. that kind of thing, right? Because I don't know how to spot the bottom, but you are different. You're not idiot Lou, you know, you're, 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 you're Sam, you're, you're the CEO, you know, you're the brainchild of you know, investment, you're the guru. Mm. But why don't you like, you know, buy low and sell high, buy low and sell high, just make, uh, like, everybody's trying to do that, right? Yep. Can you maybe share a little bit of basic investment 101, you know? Yep. If people like you are, uh, why are you not even doing that? Yeah. So when I was a professional investor and I'm full time and I, all I do is manage a portfolio of investments, then I, I may be able to do that. And when maybe. I was, maybe. And sometimes in my 28 year career, I would outperform for maybe five years or seven years. And that was a really good run. But most of the times, and for most investors, even professional investors, 
they mostly underperform the benchmark. It's very difficult to beat the benchmark. And there's many reasons for it. Um, one is that you cannot time the market very well. Because even you. Even me, even you. You know why? Because... I know I cannot, but you no. you must be able to do it. Cannot. You are a guru. Ra. Cannot laugh. <laughs> because you know why? It's because we are human beings. And what we're trying to do by saying that I'm going to time the market is I'm going to predict the future. So when it comes to anything else, we say, oh yeah, humans, of course, we cannot predict the future. We don't know what the future holds. But when it comes to investing, everybody is, uh, they can forecast the future. They know what's going to happen in the future. It's impossible. How can we do that with human beings, right? So we have to be humble. Even a professional <laughs> investor like me who's done 28 years investing, outperformed a lot. I am very, very humble because I know all the mistakes I've made, all the times I got things wrong. And if you're not a professional investor, chance of you outperform is less than 1%, 0.001%. You can outperform once, maybe one call you made on a stock, but over a long period of time, over cycles, you're always gonna make mistakes, sell at the bottom, buy on the way up, and then it's gonna be worse than the index return. That's why passive investing makes so much sense. Even the best investor in the world, not me, you, you, you're, you're humble so you say these things, but I'm nothing compared to, let's say, Warren Buffett. What did Warren Buffett say? He said, just buy a passive index fund, you know, and it's outperformed every single hedge fund, you know, active investor around the world. And there's a reason why that is, is because it's impossible to do. So, yeah. you see, uh, even experts guru like him uh, cannot do it, you know. So. How many of you can do it? Yeah, every, but ev almost every on a weekly basis, someone will tell me, this stock can buy, is it the right time to buy? Is it the right time to sell whatsoever? How I know, right? So, you mm. see, so this, even experts, these are not, these are like, the super, you know, it's like uh, the top league, you know? So people, ordinary PIS, there's no chance we can do it. So let's not mm. try to do that. It's very dangerous, okay? But you know what? This is where, I also want to ask a second question there. I'll, I'll come to the event bright thing. But how do we even, you know, end hours, okay? Everybody see Mr. Lu, you know, uh, Mr. Lu actually, uh, you know, got money put inside investing, making money. Everybody wants to do it. Mm. But Sam, the most important thing, how do we even sign up? <laughs> they don't even know how to start, you know? Like how to start? Yeah. Like, I must confess, uh, even Mr. Lu don't know. I was lucky in the early years, Friends, when, so so I, I got I got <laughs> special privilege, you know. I got people helping me fill up form and all this kind of thing. But how do they even start? You know, can yeah. you give them basic? How do even walk first? Well, it's very easy. On the mobile app, you go into your app store and download Endowa. Search Endowa and download it. It's the highest ranked uh, wealth app now, uh, better than all the other robos or bank robos. So it's the highest ranked. So Endowa's type in the app store, download, and then it will help you along the whole onboarding journey. Or you can just type indowers.com and then get going. It's very, very easy. Even in, when Lou joined, it was harder, but now it's made even easier. So, so easy. We'll be done in like five minutes. My info, download, even CPF balance, you can see we're one of the only guys who can have access to CPF, OASA, MA, all the balances come out, and you can just download it, get going. Today, you know, the special voucher, you want to announce then, yep. you know, it, that will also help um, okay. um, to get you going because we want you to, we want to encourage you to sign up. See, it's true. I got stuck signing up in Dallas. <laughs> okay. Some people make mistakes, but just uh, email support at com or just call us or WhatsApp us. There's so many ways to contact our people you here see, now. I gave so, up and go to Maybank. No, oh a lot no, of people. terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. guys, to to banks. guys, I, I queue not now. This talk, I didn't collect a single cent from Sam. Uh. Yep. My whole life I've never collected a single cent from Sam. These are because I Thanks. genuinely believe and now is one of the best company around. I, I put money inside, it's close to a million dollars right now, you know. So it's not house theology anymore. Uh. So um, so I want to make sure that, that you all get the best experience, okay? So for those people, who, so those people who tried signing mm. and that was some time back, I, my guess is then it may be difficult. Don't give up, go sign up again. Today, there is a special promotion, okay? If you, oh, I forgot to put the promotion out on YouTube, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. You're doing it, is it? <laughs> there is an Eventbrite link, okay? On, uh, there's pin on Facebook, 
and now Kate is trying to put it on YouTube. Go and put it up uh, and click on it to sign up right now for endowers. You get a, what, $28 this uh, yes. voucher or something like that, right? And then you can sign up. So quickly go get it. The I've asked them to give a bit more time. Initially, someone heartless there want to give you one hour to do it. <laughs> so I want, I'm going to give you all, I'm going to give you all, a, you know, a little bit more time. Quickly go and sign up right now, okay? Sign up process. You can put money later, right? Yeah. You can put money later. Oh, no need to. Just register. Name and email. That's it. Yeah. And you get $28 voucher. Special voucher. Why don't I get? <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you. No, no, just joking. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. But the thing is that the voucher is $28. You may not think it's much, but we don't get much fees. Yeah. We, we get very little fees. If someone asks um, any voucher for existing users. Uh, please email support at endows.com. <laughs> we'll try. we we'll try. Okay. We'll try. So, special lose uh, 1M65 people. Okay. Yeah, special love. All the while, our, our 1M65 uh, group and now Premium Mall group Premium has always Mall some group. privileges, right? Many of our fans are now customers of Endowers, investors of Endowers. We're very pleased with it. I genuinely believe this is where we're good for money. Remember, I always say, uh, you know, it's not I say, the Premium Mall customers say, right? Mr. Lu teach you how to invest well and make money, then you all go and buy these bags, right? So that was quite funny. <laughs> Someone actually made money, through, I think it's through you, and then yeah. uh, say I buy two more <laughs> shoes or two more bags or something. I thought it was quite funny. Actually, just to say the Eventbrite link is there because we don't want this. But I mean, you guys all dialed in and like you're watching now, and it's only for you who are watching right now. So it's a special deal. YouTube so you can get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's on YouTube too now. It's in the description, is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So YouTube. Uh, can you can announce behind. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, I am today running tech support. So for those people that are on Facebook or YouTube, okay, you can now go to the comment section, either that or the description to go and get your link right now, okay? So to you the can go event right, and, and you have to sign up and then you get Why the they voucher. say they cannot get the twenty dollar credit? Huh? No, last time maybe. Yeah. No no now now they cannot. Yeah. Oh you can do YouTube because we will send it to you. Yeah, we'll send oh, it to you. They will send it to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, don't worry, okay? Morning. Let's not, let's, not, <laughs> let's not kill ourselves over this twenty dollars thing. They will send it to you. We promise, Those people we promise. that has that has problem, I I kill it. Let's send this. I sign up. But don't know how to invest. Yeah. Anybody have any question? Okay. What's the, what's what's the email address? Support at endowers.com. Support at endowers.com. Okay. But if you go to endowers.com website at the bottom, you have ways you can contact MS licensed advisors. Uh, weekly session on how to sign up. Um, you can also get like 15 minute consultation. I mean, you can do, there's so many ways you can get help. So please reach out to anybody at Indawas and we'll help you with uh, onboarding, investing, whatever you need. So a Amy says that uh, uh, I've signed up and invested through Endowers in Q1 thanks to Mr. Lu's suggestion. And has been, indeed the app and report has been very useful. Ah, good. See, people. Thank you, Amy. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to, be helpful. go to investment kung fu, okay? Like, I want to juice him dry today, yeah? We're not going to let him go until we juice him dry. Okay, you all agree, I'm right? I'm scared now. I really got some questions here, but uh, give me some minute. Huh? I'm going, I'm going, uh, okay. okay. So the most important question right now, Sam, yes. is the market now uh, used to be boom, 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 boom. Now boom, 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 up again. Huh? Mm. So everybody's asking me, you know, because when I was down, I'll make it very public to everybody. Mm. I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying. Now very few people actually follow me, okay? Because I'm not allowed to say, Difficult. please follow me, right? By blah, 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 and I make money, right? Yeah. I'm making a hell of money now. But now everybody's asking me, so Mr. Lu, still can buy or not? Mm. Still can buy or not? Now, I cannot tell you what you do, but his license uh, to yeah. say can buy, cannot buy. I'm not licensed, so I'm not yes. going to say. This is the real Kung Fu guy, okay? I'm going to ask you a question. Yep. So, Sam, can we buy or not? Can we not buy now? Mm. Can we invest or can we not invest now? Can you give an answer? Yeah. So, one of the reasons why you tell people to buy and you say I bought and people often want to but sometimes don't follow is because they're scared. And that's because when you're investing, there is always risk involved, right? And that risk, if you really think about it, it's just the risk of losing money. And that money is our hard earned savings, it's our life savings. So it's important to us. So it's very, very valuable. It's something that is very personal and it matters to our future. So that's why it's not easy for people to just buy. And so the reason why Lu has high Kung Fu and can just invest and has high confidence is because of his experience. And the experience that he has is what he experienced in the Asian financial crisis 
and the global financial crisis, 2008, tech bubble busting in yeah. 2001, yeah. the March 2020 COVID crisis where we bought and rebounded. And so you have a lot of experience and those experiences tell you that you have confidence that you buy when markets are down. Because it's like buying an iPhone and suddenly the same iPhone used to be $100, now it's $90, you, just, you go out and buy, right? Because the same thing is cheaper. So everything you own, the S&P 500 is Apple, it's Amazon, it's Google, it's you know, you know, Tesla, these kind of companies, great companies, and they're now cheaper, so Lou is just buying because it's cheaper now. And because he believes in the long term of economics, you know, markets, you know, where, where it's headed. So I think for individuals, it's very important if you are not confident and you are new to investing and you haven't had the experience, then maybe it's okay to start small. But the most important thing is to start. And then when you buy $100, you have $1,000, you put $100 in, markets fall 5%, then it's time to put more money in, another $100, and another $100, and by the time you've invested everything, most likely the investments have already gone up. But, you know, it depends on the cycle of the market. Sometimes the global financial crisis lasted a long time. So sometimes it doesn't work for a while, but over the really long term, and we're talking about many years and, you know, tens of years, because we're gonna live until 90, 100 probably, and we're gonna work until 60, 70. So we have a long way to go to continue to invest and enjoy the market returns. And that's what passive investing, monthly savings plans, dollar cost averaging, those things that Lou always talks about is so important, you know, because that is how you succeed over the long term. If you try to time the market, then you sell it at the top, you buy at the top, and then you panic when it goes down 20% and you sell at the bottom, and then you chase the way back up. This is what doesn't work. Yeah. Remember, even experts like him cannot do this buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high thing. Now, for some people say, uh, for, for some people say, but Mr. Lu, you time the market, right? you buy when it's down. I bought when it's down, but I never sell. I just let it compound over 10, 20, 30 years. So that's different, right? So I, now, so it's very important now, again, like what Sam said, I have the Kung Fu built up over many experiences. Mm -hmm. Most people are not. So I think it's, a, it's something that, it's something that you need, you need time to train the Kung Fu, but meanwhile, if you have a time horizon over a long period of time, then you can buy along the way, nibble in. I always use the word nibble, right? Nibble mm -hmm. in. Try not to go too big, you know, you scare yourself to death. And then just let it grow, yeah. So, let me hard sell a little bit. Endowers is a great uh, company for me to do that. I didn't say it for you, uh, because I'm very careful. I, I don't gonna, right? But I think... I can I, say it's good for you. Yeah, he can cannot. say, I cannot say, okay? Yes, right, cool. But someone said, but it's good for me, it's good for our employees. We built it because we all wanted to use it. And Dallas now has about 140 employees. Every single employee is an investor through in Dallas because that's what we believe in. This is how we invest in. So it's not just Lou, it's me and everybody at in Dallas and every, all our friends and family too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, someone asked, but Sam, if you mm -hmm. don't sell, you're not gonna see the profit. Then what's the point of buying? So there's profit and then there's profit that's realized and then there's profit that you spend. So when you, there's profit, you wanna maximize the profit as much as you can because when you invest $1,000 and you have a profit of $1,500, then you're investing $1,500. So 10% on $1,000 is $100. Well, 10% of $1,500 is $150. So this is called compounding, and Lou has spoken about it, I've spoken about it in the past as well. So it's best to just keep your money riding so that you get to maximize the returns. And compounding works in a way that is exponential. So the more you leave inside and the more it compounds and the more time goes by, that return goes up much more steeply and faster. So it's very important to invest for the long term because the effect of compounding is maximized when you invest for a longer period. So so, so rather than take the money out correct. every time you make money. Yeah. It doesn't mean that unrealized gain uh, is not gain. Mm. Well, when you buy a house, uh, you buy a house at half a million, it grow to one, two million dollars. We don't take out 
Yeah, you don't take out and then you go and buy another the next day, right? It's the same thing. Investment should be like that. Yeah. Okay, there's one something that everybody cry father mm -hmm. mother about about endowers. Huh? Yeah. This is one single thing that even Mr. Lu also cry father about. Yes. <laughs> I buy today, then the price don't know is later <laughs> how many days then transacted. Yeah. Everybody like like wow today four I quickly buy. Mm -hmm. Hey, how come a few days later then then it transacted? Shows up. Yeah, yeah, you know, so what, 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 which day are we actually transacted? Yeah. Can you improve or you know, agree? Yeah. Right? Everybody got Everybody, this problem. Yeah, yeah you, know, you know, can you tell why, 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 why? why? Yeah. I, I'm asking the same thing <laughs> to my team. Why, why, why? Yeah, why? Why not faster? Yeah. Okay, two things. First one, uh, because it's safer for you, and our job is to protect your money. More than making yeah, money, yeah, 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 agree. protecting your money. Yeah. yeah. So the difference between, somebody asked me what is the difference with other S. Uh, everybody else starts with S. <laughs> but the other robo-advisors or DBS robo-invest and OCBC, all these guys, everybody, there's so many. Saxo has come <coughs> up with something and you know, there's so many digital players now. But why are we different is because we decided to make sure that we protect your assets first. If, you know, a lot of questions about, hey, this difficult times, what if Indaos goes bankrupt? What if we run out of money? What happens to your money, right? Um, we've kept it safe for you. So what we did from the get-go, from the beginning, was to say that, hey, how do we best protect your money is to work with UOBK Hen, the number one broker in Singapore, the biggest domestic broker behind one of the biggest banks in Singapore. They will not go bankrupt, I can guarantee you. And they, they have a brokerage account, a trust brokerage account, because a trust brokerage account is protected, segregated from the company's money and everybody else in your own name, not Indawas's name, not my name, nobody else. So when you send the money to Indawas, Indawas never touches it. It doesn't go into an Indawas account. Very it never touches your money. It goes directly from your bank account to the, your UOBK Hen account. And we help to advise it on top, but we never touch your money. And so this is very different from the other digital players who have a digital ledger, so it's electronic. So they say, oh, it's okay, it's custodized, it's safeguarded, all that stuff, but it's different. It's very important that it's different, that we have a separate account in your own name. So if Indaos disappears, you can continue to invest through that UOBKN account. We have an agreement with UOBKN to continue to let you invest at the same price for as long as you want. So we have all these safeguards in place and that's why we have to put the trades through UOBK Yen. So it feels like it's a bit longer, but it's gonna, it, the trade is actually happening. So the cutoff time is during the day. I think it's like 12 or 2 p.m. or whenever the cutoff, you put your order in. On the same day at night, the order is placed. Um, so the transaction happens on hopefully the day or the na next day um, that you pl place your order, the transaction already happened. But the problem is we want to make sure what the right price is and how much you bought, um, you know, the number of shares or the number of uh, units. And then UOBK Hand has to process it and then give us the information. So when it's uploaded on your app or your website, it takes a little longer, T plus two, T plus three, when it shows up. But the transaction is always T plus one, the day that you placed it or the day after. So you not missing out on the market because you've already placed it. Okay, so it is T plus one. Nah? So I buy today, the price you transact is plus one. I hope one day it'll be T, it'll be T, yeah, it'll be T. T, it'll be T, okay? But no one does T, <coughs> even uh, S, DBS, everybody, they place order to the US, it yeah. goes overnight. It's, okay. No one does T. Okay, yeah. so, so, so just bear in mind, but last time I think maybe T plus more than one day. But now it's string down T plus one. We hope the day will come where it's T, but... I think also because some people cheat the number. So they actually show the number and then they actually change it later. So yeah, it's not easy for us to do. Cash okay. is T and C and that's Yeah, oh, so T okay. and... Sorry. Cash is T. Uh, sorry, we, so T meaning if you meet the cutoff, then it's on the same day at night, the price. If you miss that cutoff, then it's the next day for cash. CPF and SRS, we actually have to pull your money from CPF. And it's a CPF issue because CPS has to go through investment agent bank. One of the three local banks has to pull the money out of your CPF account and then process it. So it's T plus one. So basically, you know, there's too it's, it's many <laughs> parties involved. Yeah. 
T plus one is unsamable, you know, cannot avoid yeah, it. Cannot. So nobody can. So I mean, this is already the best. Okay. Yeah. We, you know, I also very uncomfortable. But not investing is worse. Okay. To in a grand scheme of things, if you are compounding a long period of time, one day don't really make that big a difference. Uh, to be frank. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I do have to say this. Uh, I try not to invest in and hours in days where it's huge volatility. Mm. Because I don't know whether the next day you are. So when the day is a bit calmer, you know, I go in, right? Mm. Okay. Uh, one thing I would like to say is that in the long run, in the long run, those one or two days should not make a difference, especially if you continue to invest regularly. So okay. hopefully you can have a disciplined, planned out process of investing. So the timing of one, two days should not make a difference in your long term return. Okay. So, yeah. There must be. Twenty questions on this, Sam. I kill not and Sing Shi. You better take note of that. So, there are twenty questions so far. I, I must have missed some of it. How do we actually sign up? As I said a lot of people got sign stuck. Up. Yeah, you say really. Yeah, a lot of people got stuck. You know, can you please actually show us how to do it and things like that? You know what I do? Yeah, After, we'll have a separate session. Yeah, I, I, we'll upload. I, I will. I will ask. I will. What I do is that. Uh, I will ask and that was to show a video. Shang Shi, come here, say hi. Yeah, okay, to show a video link. Okay, give a video clip nah, of come showing here, how hi. we actually do it. Nah. Say hi. You Just know, say hi. So, we want to show a face of Shang Shi. This is Shang Shi, our personal finance lead at Indawas. Hi. He's in okay. the 1M65 group. He used to write in Straits Times. He's, uh, you know, very friends with all the bloggers like World Salary Man and financial horse and everybody okay. dollars and cents so since the you, guy you need to understand okay oh. you are young you are brainy and you are digital native your blood you cut now is one and zero coming out okay <laughs> but auntie and uncle here you agree yeah. right auntie and uncle here look at that thing uh, part one, part yeah, you know, the kind of thing right so it's like you know what 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 you know the kind of thing we are technophobia so mm. can Good you job. can you like cut a video clip Mm. And and Tolong you show step by step ma how to do it. Right? You agree, right? Yeah, agree. You agree, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that aunties and uncles like us ah, know how to do it. Long time no you see. Agree, 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 yeah. Hello Shang Shi. Hi, Everyone hi. knows you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see everybody agree, me, ah, okay? Yeah, agree, you yeah, agree, yeah, see, okay? Then he knows. Ah, got pressure. His boss is here, so <laughs> 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 yeah, so actually oh. what we try to do to help our clients... Lin, Lin Sing not here, he's great too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not today. Yeah, so Lin Sing and I, um, especially the CX team, what they do is that there is a weekly session where we you know, reach out to clients and then we, we show them the, the sign-up process, right? And it's actually yeah. really, really easy. You know, okay. Everything is like through SingPass and you know, if there's any questions on the sign-up process, we'll be able to address them in, in person during that Zoom okay. session. Okay, so yeah. what, what we do is... Uh, if you could show us that, that Zoom's link, or uh, the video link, or whatever, yeah, yeah. I will announce it in my subsequent talk. I do finance talk three times a week. Mm. I'll announce to everybody so you all can sign up. Okay? Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Okay, huh? So, okay. so thanks, yeah. Shishi. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just share it very soon. Yeah. Cool, yeah. all right, thank great. You. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, all right, Let, let's go to. Uh, yeah, so everybody is <laughs> everybody asking for that. Yeah. I. You know, I, I kid you not, I think. More than half the people here agree that Dowers is a great company. Agree that investing in Dior is mm. good. Agree that they just don't know how to do it. Yeah. You agree with me? <laughs> don't say you guys. Uh, if I also don't know. You also don't know. <laughs> you also don't. Yeah, the two premium models don't know. B, don't B, know needed, B needed help too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I also don't know. I'll be frank with you. Uh, if not because I got people, you know, you know, paper fill up for me or whatever. I also no, don't know. No paper. Do we never use paper. No, I don't know how to do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. anyway, okay, so okay. digital. Everybody, yes, yes, yes. I agree, I agree. Yeah. You all agree, oh, right? The paper was for for companies. If you have a corporate account, okay. you can also open on Indawas. Yeah. So we need paper. So yeah. everybody agree. They want to but sign. They help. don't know how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Down, yeah. Download the app, or we will help you. <coughs> everybody fully agree. Yeah. It's, it's, you. Don't even need to tell them. Is <laughs> I ready? You tell. Okay. You tell Sam how many times I say I use Endowers, Endowers, Endowers in my talk. Yeah. If don't have. 1,000 times also got 500 times. You agree okay. with me? Everybody yeah. get the voucher first, get the $28, and then go in and register, and then let us know okay. what you need, <laughs> how, you, how you need help. Yeah, okay, let's great. Let's okay. Yeah. okay, let's let's talk about something. Let's talk about, yeah, I say all the time. I talk about and that was all the time. Yes. You know, I'm one of your biggest fans, man. Okay, Thanks. the next question really is, uh, but Mr. Yeah. Lu, you only invest in S&P 500 and hours. 
But when you go inside and ours, ah, would they are like 100, 1,000, 100,000 products, ah, which one should we go for? You know, yeah, uh, you know, all of them are wondering which mm-hmm. one is the best. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can, you you you, you understand? You know, it's like uh, yeah. too many good things, ah. You know, again, right? When we face so good, we don't know what to choose, mm-hmm. right? So can you go down to maybe if it's you, just the top three most tasty product? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So if you are new to investing <clears throat> and you haven't invested before and you don't know what to invest and you know, Mr. Liu always talks about S&P 500, that's great. Uh, but if you're not sure, then Indawas has built a globally diversified portfolio. So what's important? It's global. It's not just Singapore. It's not just China. It's not like a risky emerging market fund or whatever. It's just a globally diversified portfolio because it exposes you to the global market. The best companies in the world are in that portfolio. And as many companies as we can get so that it's diversified. So the risk of one company going bankrupt or losing a lot of money is reduced. The other thing is it gives you a choice of equity and fixed income. So you can balance equities with fixed income. So it's a multi-asset portfolio, right? Can you explain to people why it's yeah. fixed income? Fixed income is bonds, equities is stocks. Okay. So stock and bond mix allows you to reduce volatility, which means that you know even if equity drops, stocks bond drop 20%, the bond portion should protect you a little bit, right? So this kind of like balanced portfolio is possible with the portfolio. So in Dawa's portfolio, the biggest, most important one is the flagship portfolio. So we changed the name to flagship to help you all to understand that this is the core flagship portfolio that's globally diversified, low cost, and the best portfolio for people that are not really familiar. It's the first one of choice, it says, when you go in into the app and try to choose. Now, if you want to buy S&P 500, that's okay too. S&P 500 is a US index, so it's just US market, but those US companies are some of the biggest companies in the world, like Apple, like Amazon, like you know Netflix, Google, Microsoft. These are all companies that we use every day here in Singapore. So we are investing in the future, and um, so S&P 500 has more than 30% of the revenue coming from outside the US, so it's, it's diversified enough. So S&P 500 is okay too. Now, um, S&P 500, you want to buy a single index fund, then it is in the fund smart section of Indawas. So Indawas is like a big private bank, but we make everything available to an individual retail investor here in Singapore. So you can buy a fund, you can buy a portfolio, you can manage your cash, you can later on, if you're a professional investor or an accredited investor, you can buy alternatives, hedge funds, um, some of the more you know more risky stuff if you want to, but the Fund Smart platform is a platform where we put in the best funds in Singapore. So unlike Fund Supermart, Dollardex, or Poems or the banks, we don't put two thousand funds. We curate and choose the best funds available. So the best U.S. equity fund, the best emerging market fund. So you don't have to choose too much, and you don't have like twenty funds from choose from, to choose from. So in there, you have the S and P five hundred fund. So you search for it, you Mr. click Lou's for favorite. it, Mr. Lou's Mr. Lou's favorite. favorite. Um, so you click it and you can actually buy a single fund. And that single fund, it doesn't matter whether it's S&P 500 or PIMCO income fund. In Singapore, the cheapest way to buy a unit trust, not banks, not fund supermarket, not dollar decks, the cheapest way to buy a fund is 95% of the funds. The cheapest way to buy the funds is in Dawas. And a lot of funds that are not available in other places are available here in Singapore, uh, in Indawas. Like the Amundi funds, a lot of people have asked because I think that you've seen the emails or something. Uh, we made it a very cheapest fund in the world, in, in the history of Singapore is available I'm coming here. To that question. I'm coming to your question. That's fund smart. And a lot of like dimensional funds that are factor funds that are not available elsewhere, available in Indawas. So there's a lot of exclusive funds that are also available as well. So best fund platform, Cheapest fund platform and exclusive as well. Okay, I, I got I, I got two questions. Number one is on mm. uh, Nasdaq. I'll ask the okay. question first, then I'll ask about Monday. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people hear that. Hey, Mr. Lu, you invest in S and P five hundred, but you also invest in Nasdaq. Mm. Why is it that Endowers don't offer a Nasdaq product? Mm. Yeah. Why can't we use uh, Endowers to buy a Nasdaq product? Yeah. Why can't we use a CPF to buy a Nasdaq product? You know, mm. things like that. Maybe, 
Maybe you can answer the question first. Yeah. So CPF is easier. It's actually, CPF is more difficult to put funds in CPF investment scheme. So you have to be included. Um, so CPF outsources the screening of funds to Morningstar, a company that does a lot of research. So Morningstar does a lot of research on funds and they would look at the funds and say, oh, this is not good enough, so it doesn't go into CPF. But the good ones go into CPF. So the ones that we want investors to use, like the S&P 500 or you know, other funds like the Mundi that's coming next month for CPF, these will be put into CPF. We have to get approved, like we have to get included by Morningstar and CPF as well. So it takes a little bit of time and there's less choice. So CPF uh, does not have any NASDAQ fund, even if we want to. For cash, there's a lot available in the US and elsewhere, but it's very expensive or you have withholding tax, 30% withholding tax. So there are some things available, but for Indawas, it's not, we, we don't add any value by allowing you know, ETF, because you can buy that anywhere. So we want to provide something that you don't have elsewhere. And so for tech exposure, because NASDAQ is all about tech, NASDAQ is tech exposure, guys. And NASDAQ um, technology is all available in the Indawas technology portfolio. So we created a satellite portfolio. So core portfolio is globally diversified, low cost. Satellite is very specific funds or portfolios like China portfolio or real estate portfolio that is better than REITs. Uh, there's technology portfolio that's better than NASDAQ. So we have a portfolio that tracks the technology sector like NASDAQ, but a little bit more diversified. And it's a little bit more actively managed, so it's, um, it hopefully is less volatile. So it doesn't move in up and down as much. So it doesn't go <laughs> up as much, but doesn't fall as much. So we have that as a portfolio that is available, but also we have a lot of funds. So on the FundSmart platform, we have the Fidelity Technology Fund, which has massively outperformed even in this downturn. Templeton Fund, which normally does tremendously well when it goes up. So there's a lot of funds out there that you can use instead of the NASDAQ index, because in index funds should be diversified. S&P 500, very diversified. Different sector, different global sector. NASDAQ is single sector in single country. So one of the robos, the other robos underperformed a lot because they exposed themselves too much to one country, China, and one sector, internet. And that's risky. So Mr. Liu with Kung Fu, okay, take risk, okay Even I don't money. do that. Even I don't do yeah. that. But yeah. if you want NASDAQ, it's single country US and one sector, technology. It's too risky oh, for most okay. people. So you, you, you want to diversify. Of course, better than China internet because no, it's very narrow. China was scary. Country. US technology is global leaders, so it's yes. different. But having said that, I'm just trying to emphasize that you know, having too narrow an exposure, especially if you don't have Kung Fu like Mr. Liu, is a bit dangerous. So you want to give to professional managers like Fidelity, Templeton, you know, these guys who actually can manage it quite well. Cool. Okay. The next question is this mystical name called Amandi, okay? <laughs> so when I first heard Stick that, mystical. I thought it's something from India or something like that. I, yeah. I don't even know what is that. So apparently, uh, when you buy S&P 500 like Mr. Lu, I used to buy this thing called Lion Global, okay? Lion Global yep. Infinity Fund, very long. Yeah. That's why I always very say S&P 500, right? Lion Global Infinity is like a fund of fund, something like that. It's a feeder yes. fund, very complicated. It's so complicated. the only way we could get it into CPF, that's why we did it. Yeah. Now, apparently, you know, and I was here, managed to get another something like a like a like a replacement fund of S&P 500 almost like S&P 500 okay mm -hmm. and he will describe to you uh, what what a Monday is so it's an alternative to S&P 500 is almost mirroring yep. so the question to you is can you please tell us why you want to do this funny a Monday thing mm. is it compulsory for us to flip over mm -hmm. a second is can you please tell what's what's so good about Monday yep. and maybe something bad about Monday, right? Yes. Is it, the track record not so good, whatever. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what Monday basis? A Monday thing is an alternative to S and P five hundred, right? Is it yep. exactly S and P five hundred? Is it ninety nine percent S and P five hundred? Can yep. you explain a little bit? No. So uh, it's, it's it's really exciting <laughs> because a Monday is many many people may not know, um, but a Monday is one of the largest fund managers in the world. So it has trillions of dollars. It's the largest in Europe. 
So Mundi is owned by many banks in, in France and you know, it's a French company. They just took over a company called Lightsor, L-Y-X-O-R, which is a big player in ETF space. So they combined to be a multi-trillion dollar, very, very large company, one of the biggest in the world and the biggest in Europe for sure. Um, and they are very big here in Singapore. You see it in Straits Times and newspapers and advertisements. Uh, so they are a very large asset manager. And Mandi is the largest asset, asset manager yes, in Europe. Precisely. Okay, not, so not, thank not, you, Matt. <laughs> not kacang putih. Not, uh, yeah, yeah. Not. So they have uh, ETFs in Europe. And the reason ETFs in Europe are important is because USITS ETFs tend to be more efficient in terms of taxes. So it's less than the tax you pay for US ETFs. A lot of robos use US ETFs with withholding tax, but USITS ETFs, if you buy directly, is actually cheaper. So Amundi is one of the biggest players there. Now in Singapore, we don't have ETFs. We actually do, but they're very expensive. So there's a Spider S&P 500 ETF, but two things wrong with that. One is that it's very liquid. So if you buy and sell, the NAV, the fund, it should be $100. But when you want to buy, they're selling it at 101. And when you sell, <coughs> they, when you sell they want to buy at 99. So it's like a 1% loss every time you trade, 1%. So even though the fund is only 0.08%, the cost of transaction is $1, 1% every time you transact. Every, like if you do monthly, then every month you lose 1%. So the other thing is it's in US dollars, not in Sing dollars. So you, can, you have to have transaction cost of FX, etc. So Umundi and Indawas worked really hard for many, many months and said, hey, can we get an S&P 500 equivalent US index fund, passive index fund, at really low cost? And one of the reasons why S&P 500 cannot be as cheap as this Amundi US Prime Fund is because S&P 500 is a brand. And every time you use that brand, you have to pay royalty. So that's two, three basis points. And therefore, the Spider, which is supposed to be cheap, is 0.08%. Amundi passive index fund US Prime is 0.05%. So 0.05% means that Amundi US Prime Fund is the cheapest fund in the history of Singapore. There has never been a fund cheaper than 0.05%. All the ETFs in SGX is more expensive than 0.05. That Spider ETF is the most cheapest, is 0.08. There's nothing cheaper than that. But this Amundi US Prime is 0.05, the cheapest ever. So how does it compare? Is it really S&P 500? It's not S&P 500 because you're not allowed to use the word S&P 500. So they call it US Prime and a European index provider replicates this. So S&P 500 is 500 companies. Uh, it's 505 stocks. It's 505. Uh, Amundi US Prime is 547 stocks in the US, the biggest US 547. So it has 42 stocks more but it's largely the same. If you look at the correlation, and you can see in the slides that we shared with you, um, you can go through everything. There's a detail for professional investors or people who are interested in these numbers. You can look at the performance. So the first thing is correlation. So does it move like the S&P 500? 100%, like 99%, 98%. Does it move with uh, Lion Global? Yes, same. Spider, yes, they all move the same. Because they're passive index funds, they track the index. Now, the performance, you look at the performance since they started in 2019, March, when they launched in Europe, uh, you look at the performance, it's almost the same as S&P 500. In fact, it's done slightly better than the Lion Infinity Global, slightly better, but they all do similar amount. The difference is the fee. So the Lion Infinity Global is slightly more expensive. We got it at the cheapest cost for you in CPF. And how much is that? It's uh, 34 basis points, 034 0.34% 0 a year. Yeah, total, total cost. Yeah, Management total fee cost. is much lower, 0 0.2 something. But we always tell you transparently the total cost of investing. So if a you lot go of these to other Amundi? platforms, Amundi is 0 0.05. <laughs> so I tell you, this is the cheapest fund in the history of Singapore. Nothing cheaper. So wait, I'm paying right now 0 0.24 for management. 0.3 something for total cost, but the Mundi is very similar, gives you 0.05. So every year you're saving 0 0.2, 0.3%. Yeah, I got close to $700,000. That's a lot of money, right? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. 
to the to him to, to you to you for me bit. many plates of char kway teow and uh, and and chicken rice you know yeah, yeah. so so uh, okay I'm gonna f okay uh, can you use CPF and SRS so cash SRS available now and uh, CPF is coming sorry we try so hard but it takes long time to get into CPF so September. We are hoping that September we will have a Mundi funds available CPF. Right now, there are four funds available. The US Prime, lowest cost. The World Index Global Diversified DM uh, is 0.11 something percent. A EM is 0.2. And the Global Aggregate Fixed Income Bond Fund is index fund. Also the cheapest ever, 0.08 percent. All four are available on FundSmart for cash and SRS. If you are an existing endowed portfolio customer, if you're new and you by the flagship portfolio is already included. For if you're an existing investor, then you have to switch. And we just announced last week the recommended portfolio change. So you have a choice. We always give you the choice. A lot of these other platforms and robots don't give you choice. Sell China internet at the bottom and all these stuff that you don't have a choice. But for us, we always give the clients the choice. So you choose whether you want to switch from Lion Global to uh, Amundi or not. But we're switching out the Line Global S&P 500 into this US Prime in stock portfolio. And then in the fixed income portfolio, we're switching some out into the global aggregate 0.08% bond fund. So both we have a little bit of a change and you have to accept that and change it in your portfolio. So is there a switching cost? Uh, none. There's never any additional cost for transactions. There's no cost for brokerage. There's no custody fee. There's no additional cost on endowers, it's just the platform fee that we pay, we charge you uh, on a quarterly basis, many, many months after the quarter, so you have the best chance of returns, um, and that's the lowest cost in the industry, the lowest cost in uh, Singapore. I'm just gonna calculate how much I save a year. <laughs> do that afterwards. <laughs> how much I save a year if I switch, Maybe okay? Maybe can do it while you So I, I need you to quickly tell me, uh, Tell me when it's ready, okay? Because uh, most of it is under SRS. Yeah, so and it's switching CPF. from Lion into a Mundi. Okay, cool. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, I, I think that's that's uh, that's good. Now, um, but I have to say, this is the thing that Indawas always does. Is always we're always on your side, trying to improve. So things that were not available in Singapore, we have to fight for it. We have to tell the Mundi, look, we'll promise, we'll give you a lot of assets, we'll build the business, we promise to get it into CPF with you and work really hard many many months six months nine months to get this in um, we want to get other guys in so blackrock passive index funds we're hoping to get in <clears throat> dimensional we're taking to cpf so there's so many effort that we're making and the team is working really hard uh, to try to help get better products at lower cost for you all the time well, someone researched yesterday wow, see. <laughs> okay very efficient okay so very very, very important very important is uh is how do we actually do it how do we switch you agree, right? Yeah. I, I, conceptually, we all know. I, 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 do, do I go in an app? Do I call someone? Do I send an email? Ha, ha, yeah. How do we actually uh, switch? Yeah. Yeah. Or how so, do we? What? Yeah. Yeah. So, for new people who haven't invested before, if you just go in, get your twenty-eight dollar voucher, and then on board and start investing CPF, you don't have to send money. We can pull the money because we got UBK hand into CPF with us, so that we can make it seamless and costly. We, we try to work with IFAS, Philip, and Navigator, the Dollardex guys, but they want to charge so high fees, we didn't want to work with them, so we got UOB Kahan in, who was the lowest cost provider. So they will do all the work for you um, in pulling the money and investing. For cash, you have to send the money in. So after you do that, you basically choose the portfolio you want, whether it's flagship portfolios, or go into FundSmart and pick the S&P 500, or the Amundi US Prime Fund, and then you get going and invest, done, very quickly. If you're already invested in S&P 500, then you need to go in and you need to switch the fund. So you need to sell down the S&P 500 and buy into the Amundi. So there is a risk. You will be out of the market for maybe two, three days, five days max, hopefully faster than that. Um, and sorry, I don't know what's my, going my, on. My, my, daughter just, <laughs> my daughter just got me some hot water. It's like boiling water. It's hot. Uh, <laughs> who is going inside yeah. the test? I was like, who is burning? <laughs> So everyone is asking. Switch. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Everybody is asking, what's the minimum amount to buy? So minimum to invest in in Dawas, we used to be ten thousand dollars. Now it's down to one thousand dollars. And then after one thousand dollars, you can just do additional investments of a hundred dollars. 
Really? Minimum. Very, very it little. Change already. We've already lowered it so hey, everyone can invest in Indawas. You know? Yes. Yeah. When you and, began, and, it was 10,000. And, and, yeah. and he did a privilege for me for, for premium more and for 165 customer was 8,000. I still remember. Yeah. Yeah. Now even, it's. Even. And the reason we have a minimum and we encourage a bigger number is because this is your long term money for retirement, for your children's college funds, for your house, and big things for you, hopefully. So we want you to take investing seriously. We want you to invest in the right way because there is a right way of doing things. Diversification, asset allocation, monthly regular savings plans, dollar cost. These are, there's a right way of doing things that Mr. Liu always talks about. And so we want to help you to do that and you know, investing a decent amount of money because 10,000 in these day, this day, $10,000 is not gonna secure your retirement. It's not gonna help survive you know, when you're in your 60s and 70s, living on $10,000 for the rest of your life is not going to happen. Yeah. It's so expensive to live. Yeah. So we want you to build hundreds of thousands, if not millions, with 1M, you know, 50, 1M, 65, million. We all want everybody to be a millionaire and take their investment seriously. Yeah. Sorry, uh, for those people who have a lot of registration problem, mm -hmm. and I still see them, can you please write into the email uh, uh, for, for you guys? Can you, can you make sure that you guys are, are monitoring our Facebook page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just can you let, yeah. Comment, let me clarify. Yeah, two Facebook yeah, yeah. page. Shang Shi is back. Yes. Yeah. Hi, see, hi everyone. He said um, I'm trying to register and keep asking me upload question. I got I, every five minutes I see one of these questions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. First of all, first of all, this is the problem with all digital platforms. Sometimes it's not easy, but everybody like we uh, we are one of the easiest ways to do it. The other platforms sometimes are more difficult, but we are improving and the reason is because we're trying to keep your money safe right other guys make it so easy they just like do anything everything but for us we're trying to protect your money so it's a little bit more difficult but the process yeah yeah we are we need to make better i think everyone yeah. is probably asking about the promo code as well right so okay. because we are monitoring the chat so what is going to happen mm -hmm. after the event is that we're going to send uh so for those of you who have not signed up eventbrite uh, please go and sign up on the eventbrite link we actually have an email on CPF investing, you know, some more details beyond what Lou and Sam can cover, right? So that you can understand it better and also send the promo code over. And the slide. We should yeah. send the slide. Yeah. yeah. So so we'll send all of those over, right? So so do wait for, for it. We have your emails, we'll send it over and you know from there on you can just uh, get started uh, uh, setting up your account in 10 hours. Okay. So I hope that's very clear. <coughs> um yeah, so just just wait for And a while the email more. will have the details of how you can help. How okay. can get, yeah. When yeah. all fails, write to their customer, help yeah. desk at what, what, what? support, support at endowers.com. Yeah. Support at endowers.com. Okay? Cool? Okay, let's 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 go. I, I kid you not, I see one third of our question here are all about <laughs> process. How to yeah. that we no, can deal with separately. Yeah, we we so we'll we, we deal with it separately or whatsoever, okay? There there are there are, uh, there are a lot of people asking questions. Uh, as much as possible, we have got people there answering a question directly. I can only pick out, you know, questions that are I, I we got time to answer. You know, I, if I answer every question, Sam will be dead. Yeah. You stay here until tonight, right? right. I'm okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, quite a lot of people has been save twenty dollars can buy four and a half chicken rice. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, so uh, how uh, so that the next uh, so anybody who have any questions, okay, you can ask here. Either our support people here will be answering you. If not, you know. Keep asking a question and I'll answer you. Okay, CJ, CJ, I don't really know what's your question. Uh, I don't really know what's your question. You keep asking, please answer a question. I don't know what's your question. Can you please ask again, okay? Let's because to it, the it grows yeah. very, very fast. I cannot, I cannot see it, okay? But anyway, um, so uh, the next question is, why are you all not into, uh, why are you not into crypto? <laughs> It's obvious, I think it's obvious. Uh. I don't know if you're asking yeah. this question, no, no, but no, no, quite no. a few it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's an interesting topic, but um, Indawas wants to solve. We're, we're a company that does private wealth, your life, life savings, and your pension. So being the first ones to do CPF. We want to go overseas and expand and provide the service to other markets. Um, but you know, we want to do the same thing. We want to focus on solving the long-term problems we have, <coughs> and trying to solve your, like, help support your future, and reach retirement adequacy, and solve the pension crisis, and really like important things to us long-term. In the short term, there's so many other platforms that does crypto trading, that does stock trading. You can trade your meme stocks. You know, 
punt stocks there's so many platforms they're giving you free tesla shares free apple shares 200 dollars, 500 dollars to get you on board and you can go around and use all of them and get all the shares and stocks and hundreds of hundreds of thousand dollars of free vouchers cash uh, endowers is not that company we never intended to be that company and so in the future we will never be that company so we're not going to be doing stock trading we're not going to do crypto uh, we're not going to be a neo bank, you know, or you know, doing lending or anything like that with your money. We're only going to be focusing on helping you achieve wealth in the future to get you to be millionaires with your CPF. Though that's the goal. That's why Lou and I are friends and we work together because we want to help you to get there together. And that's what Indaos is about. So we will never veer from that. We'll never do crypto. If there is a way to do crypto safely and we can do it in a way that reduces this massive volatility, then we will think about it. We're always looking at new ways and looking at new products and options, but if it's not possible and it's very risky, we will never put it on the platform. So I'm not gonna say never, maybe one day it matures and maybe we can look at it, but only if it's safe enough for our investor to do so. Okay, cool. Uh, just, uh, just to take note, CJ, your question is too, too elementary for for, for Sam to answer. I'll answer the question in a separate occasion, okay? Because uh, I want to take advantage, I want to take advantage of uh, Sam in this. This one, Mr. Lu also can answer, okay? I, I, I want to prioritize questions that are, that are at his level. There are some questions I cannot, uh, I can answer a question you can answer. Yours is a bit uh, a lower level, but I'll get someone. Uh, no, actually, can I just quickly deal with okay, yeah. since he asked on multiple times. Okay. Index versus ETF. So, S&P 500 index, is an index is a number that somebody calculates uh, you know S&P FTSE is the index provider they calculate a number every day looking at all the 500 stocks and how they move you cannot buy that index you have to buy a fund that tracks the index so when you buy build a fund there is a cost involved to managing that fund uh, a BlackRock or a Vanguard <coughs> or a Mundi manages that fund for you it includes transacting, buying all those stocks every day and selling. When the index changes, you have to buy and sell. You know, there's a cost to transaction, there's a cost to managing the fund, etc. But as a result, you can never achieve index returns. It's always index minus cost of the fund. So what we're trying to, and of course, S&P 500 charges a fee for using the name S&P 500. So there is a cost to that as well. That's why the minimum cost is 0.08% for a, the cheapest S&P 500 index fund is 0.08%. Amundi is 0.05. A lot of the other funds are 0 .0, 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2. That is the cost of you accessing the index. So that's what the difference between the fund and the index is. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, the, <laughs> um, this is a commonly asked question. Hey, if I buy from, if I buy from, a, if I buy from, from, a, from the US stock market, I'm subjected to, you know, uh, estate Reporting duties. Tax. If I die, you know, one third or half of my money will be gone and things like that. So, uh, if, so what if I buy a Lion Global or a Monday, you know? What happened if I, you know, you know, that kind of thing, right? So, mm. are you subject, uh, uh, we are subjected to estate duties and the other one is, uh, are the dividends uh, subjected to, to tax and things like that, you know? Maybe we can answer this question on tax. Yeah, I mean, if you're buying a globally diversified fund, it's very different. But if it's single market US, then it's very difficult to avoid the withholding tax. So it's either 30% or 15% for use as ETFs. Estate tax is very different. If you buy US ETF, then there is a risk that your money can be stuck there or you will be charged, you know, the estate duty tax. So make sure you all don't die. It's the same as income tax, right, in the US. So it, it could be 30%, 50%, whatever, depending on how much money you have. Um, in, if you buy a USITS ETF or a USITS fund, the Amundi fund is a USITS fund. There's no USITS, U-C-I-T-S. It basically means it's a European fund, not a US fund. So UCITS, USITS fund, is not subject to any estate tax because you're not mm -hmm. buying a fund from the US. So you're safe from that. Okay, yep. so, so, uh, so 
There's well, a lot of questions hope, about yeah. difference with other robots. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'll ask, I'll ask this question yeah, right now, do. okay? Oh, now? Okay. Why does it take so long to credit my CPF to Endowers? It has been ask a week. CPF, please. <laughs> <laughs> but mine is quite fast, eh? I don't know it depends on yeah. uh, people. T if it plus has one. weekend, then obviously, yeah. Weekend okay. is longer. So, I've got this question that I've been uh, waiting uh, to ask this question, okay? <laughs> Sam. Yeah. There are so many robo advisor out there. Yeah. There's yourself, there's Sai, there's Stash Away, there's you know XXYYZZ, so many companies. Okay. Why should we invest in Endowers? Mm. No, why why are you so special, right? Yep. Okay. Why is Mr. Lu why you you know? You Mr. Know. Lu, you must be in their pockets. You must be getting their money. That's why you keep telling them, you know? Yeah, so anyway. So maybe you can explain, you know, why are you guys so yeah. special? Well, yeah. first of all, I want to confirm what Lou said, which is that there's no association other than the friendship, personal friendship. He has no money in Indawas. Indawas has never paid him. He just uses Indawas as a client. That's it. There's no I'm other, a, nothing. I'm a, I'm a customer. He's a customer. Um, and only after a little while, right? <laughs> it, took, it took him a little while to be a customer. But he's a happy customer. That's it. Nothing else. He's supposed to buy me a char siu rice, which he cannot. He promised me I'll hold him to it for his whole life. He cannot buy no, me no, no, that no. char siu rice. Cheng Shi bought once, I think. Cheng no. Shi or somebody bought char siu. Yeah, but that's not. That... Char siu and siu yok. <coughs> but that one, low grade one. Low grade. But he cannot because yeah, after he promised buy. me, the char siu rice closed down. Yeah, they closed down. So he, he forever owe me that particular char siu yes, rice. That particular one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. anyway. So sorry. sad. We're both very yeah, sad yeah, it yeah. closed down. But anyway, so first of all, no, no compensation, nothing. Yeah, Mr. Liu is free, he can support any platform service he wants. It's just that Indawas is very different from other robos. So first of all, I don't like robo-advisor because it's what's called a misnomer. It just doesn't make any sense, right? There's no robo, there's no robot in a robo-advisor. It's normally a human being like me. So, you know, other robos have, you know, CIOs and their investment guys and they're looking at stuff looking at the data and then making calls on, oh, we should buy China, we should buy internet, we should buy Australia, we should buy gold, we should do this and this and this and this. And they're very actively trading their portfolios, right, for you. So they're like any other fund manager, oftentimes. So there's no robo and there's no robot that is doing this. It's a I, human I can being. attest to it. I'm in yeah. their office right now, I didn't see a single robot. <laughs> That's joking. And then, <laughs> And the second thing is advisory. So we focus on giving advice to clients. So we try to understand what the client wants, what the client needs are, you know, where they are in their life, how much money they have, how much risk they can take, what is this product suitable for them or not, what is the risk of investing here or not. So, so we try to do that. And then all the funds we use or investments that we select, we already screen it. So we have 10 people in the investment office all their job is just looking at funds globally and then saying, hey, these funds in Singapore are not very good. I want to bring this one in from Europe or US. Then they do that. If they have all the funds in Singapore, they say, okay, this one's the best one. This one is very bad. So we have a lot of guys who come from private banks or other banks and say, hey, what about this fund? What about this one? We look at it. We're like, why would you want to buy this fund? It's terrible. So we don't have it in Indawas, those bad funds. So the investment office is doing all of that. So in Dallas is very different in the way we approach it. We're like an Amazon, we're like a Netflix. So we curate things for you. So to give you a mobile app or a web internet access that helps you invest and build a portfolio. So you can buy a single fund, S&P 500, or you can buy a portfolio like flagship. Or if you wanna have China exposure, you can buy a China fixed income or a China equity fund portfolios. Uh, you can manage your cash, your short-term money, your long-term money. So the way to look at it now is, is much more like a UBS, who's actually an investor in us, but UBS or a, you know, Morgan Stanley or a you know, DBS private bank or Bank of Singapore. But the difference is we don't charge you as much as them. Secondly, we help give you the best advice for you and we're always on your side, not trying to rip you off like a lot of banks do. And thirdly, we are, you know, uh, digital. So you don't have to physically go to a bank branch. Um, and we allow you to invest in a lot of things that even banks don't allow you to. So at UBS, they will allow you to buy an institutional fund or GIC kind of fund. 
and we are giving you access to those kind of funds. So Endowas is a platform, so you can manage all of your money, and that's why we have, we're the only ones that can invest your CPF, your SRS, and your cash savings, your private wealth, in, in a seamless experience in a single app. We're the only guys who can do that, no one else, no other robo, even DBS, doesn't give you access to all of these CPF, SRS, and cash in a single experience. So Endowas is really trying to change the way the industry is doing things so okay. that we can help people more. Uh, quick one, um, back to the Amandi fund, okay? Uh, first of all, uh, when, when they switch, would there be a T plus one switching time? What if, you know, the market yeah, just crash yeah. on a day or whatever, you know, the kind of thing? So as I said, I think um, the markets will do what the markets does and we cannot pr predict what the market will do. So I think that, you know, missing out on a day, sometimes if you time it, you can get lucky, market falls and you buy cheaper. Sometimes you'll be out of the market, market runs, you'll miss out on a little bit of performance. But the long term, it shouldn't really matter to you, um, being out of the market one or two days. Um, normally, we would not do this when the markets are super volatile. So when the markets are crashing, we would not be doing this. When the market is going up by 10%, 20%, we should not do this. So. Uh, we waited until the market collapsed and then it bounced a little bit so we think it's a little bit more stable but we also want you to get to the funds the cheaper funds as fast as possible so we announced that we'll do the rpc just on uh friday uh, thursday RPC? recommended portfolio change okay so you can switch over to the new fund <coughs> um the other thing sorry i forgot to finish the comparison with the yeah. other robos sure. here is that um, we are a flagship fund and if you look at the slides, you'll see the performance between Indawas and the other robos. And you can see that Indawas does two things. One, we have better performance. The reason is because the other guys try to actively manage their funds. Crash and you know, burn. Crash and burn with China internet. And then they sell at the bottom. So they make all these decisions but which are bad. Isn't that supposed to be robo-advisor? Robots are not supposed to make this kind of mistake, right? Well, that's why it's again, it's not a robot. Yeah, and so it's human mistakes or decisions, and it's very difficult for humans to do it. And you know, robo even if you are robo advice, robo investing, not robo advising, robo investing, you're still gonna make mistakes because in the end, it's about what kind of input you provide. So if you, it's junk in, it's junk out. You put in junk data or junk inputs, then you're gonna have junk out. So they've underperformed, and so in that is better performance. But the second thing is. We're very passive and strategic, which means that we're trying to track the global index in the return. So it's less volatile and also it's tracking the index very pa more passively. So we're very strategic. We're not going to say suddenly, hey, we should buy Australia or gold or China internet or, you know, <laughs> Malaysia or, you know, Africa. We we're not going to do that. We're going to say globally diversified, flagship portfolio is benchmarked against passive index. And that's why we have good performance, because passive outperforms active, and all the other robos are active. Cool. Okay. Um, the other one, China. Uh, yeah. Big question on China. Since you talk about China, mm -hmm. I know some other robo advisor crashed big time with China. Okay. But let's let's talk about China. Do you think China is a market that we should all participate in? You th because I don't invest in China. I don't believe in Chinese stock market. Mm. I don't know why there's so many fraud, so many policy risks or whatever. The best thing to do is I don't buy, okay? Mm. But I, that's Mr. Lu, okay? But what's your view about China, no? Should everybody, you know, invest something in China or should we stay away like Mr. Lu, no? What's your, what's your view? Uh, there's two ways of doing it. One is that um, China in a global index represents a certain portion. So that portion could be 10%, it could be 15%, but it's not, never going to be 50%. Right, so um, you, you're always gonna be, um, yeah, remove. <laughs> Sorry, um, basically China is an important part of the global index, it's an important economy, there are good companies in there, and it will show some uh, growth uh, no matter what, and therefore if you want to have some exposure, that's fine. I'm agnostic, I'm not gonna say, oh, buy China or sell China, but having some exposure to China, if for the long term is not a bad thing. I would never ever invest a huge amount of money in China because it's very volatile, it's less mature, and it's you know, less liquid as well. So when you want to like sell, there's less liquidity. Um, 
you know, in, in especially exposing yourself to a single sector within a country like China internet or China consumer or China machinery or EV batteries, that is much, much more risky. So I would avoid that. Even you, I such not, an expert like yeah. you, don't do it. Yeah. But the p most important thing is looking at your overall portfolio, saying that, hey, I have a thousand dollars and within that, I'm going to put ten dollars into China of which one dollar is China, you, you know, technology. That's okay because that's not going to change your, the, the overall returns over the long term in a major way. So you're not taking exorbitant risks. So all of it is about asset allocation. You know, all the studies about investment returns has shown that more than 90% of returns can be explained by asset allocation. So what, which country you bet uh, invested in, which asset class you invest in, is it equities versus bonds. If you invest in equities long term, you're going to de definitely do more than fixed income and bonds. If you invested in equities, you're going to do better than commodities. Because commodities has been the, one of the worst like over the really long term, or gold. So it's the asset class that determines the return in 90% of the time over the long term. So these kind of things we need to understand. And therefore, when you look at your portfolio as a whole, don't look at just this one fund. Look at your overall pot of money, how much you have in you know, S&P 500, how much you have in China, how much you have in all these things, whether it's single stocks or insurance linked products, which we both hate, um, try to get out of that. But even insurance products have investment pieces to it. Understand what your exposure is in there and then provide a holistic picture of what your asset allocation is. And then a lot of mistake people make is too much cash. Cash in this inflationary environment is very, very, very negative return. So inflation is 6%, your cash is giving you zero, then your negative 6%. The purchasing power of that cash is very, very bad. But uh, if you put it in deposits, you get 2%. But if you invest in markets long term, like Mr. Liu, you will get 7 8%. So you have to understand the long term uh, returns of assets and then do asset allocation in the right way. Okay. Uh... Someone asked. Uh, someone asked about. Okay, I, I'll generalize that question. Mm. Stock picking. Yeah. Stock picking. Like, do you believe in Tesla? Do you believe in DBS? Do you believe in uh, in Google and Facebook? Alibaba has crashed so much. Can we yeah. buy or whatever? You know, you know. Maybe you can generalize about stock picking versus what well, Mr. Lu. No, okay. obviously don't pick stock, right? Okay. So, Expert like you must have big stock. Yeah. yeah. No, that was my job day to day. Sure. So when I was a professional investor, I used to run a fund. Yeah. I used to manage tens of billion, ten plus billion dollars. Uh, I was, you know, investing in test that, you know, like Tencent and Naver in Korea and a lot of like TSMC, Samsung Electronics, you know, a lot of companies um, in Singapore as well, many companies. Uh, so, yes, stock picking is something that uh, many people do. Um, is no I don't know what that means, but it's <laughs> about it. Yeah. So, um, so uh, stock picking, if you generalize, um, it's very difficult to do. So, as a professional investor, we always say if you can get it right 51% of the time, that's very good. You're never gonna get it right 100% of the time, or you know, 50% of the time. Um, so. Um, you you want to understand that stock picking is very difficult even for professional investors it's very very difficult to get it right all the time so there's always going to be stocks you pick that makes you money there's always going to be stocks that you pick that's going to lose your money you just hope that as a whole you make money but as I said it's very difficult to do and people like don't look at the whole thing and say hey I picked this one stock which made me money therefore stock picking wins or they invest and the stock crashes and say, oh, we should never stop pick. But that's not the way we should look at it. It should always be on probability. It always should be on the big picture of the portfolio, asset allocation, and understand exactly how those returns are driven uh, or generated. And stock picking in general for the individual who's not a professional investor, a trained professional, you should not be stock picking. Um, unless you know the company inside out, you work for the company, or you know the company so well, you're a user of that product, and you believe in it, and you buy that company, and you hold it for the long term, then maybe that's okay. But uh, for the general population, I think stock picking is a very, very difficult thing to do. From your experience, yeah. how many percent of 
people, investors, can actually, through their own stock picking, beat the market? Uh, Your best guess? I think it's very, very, like, depends on the period. Yeah. Depends on whether you're just Over, making one stock or no. you're making 20 stock investments and that's all you do is stock picking versus an index. The average investor, the average investor is always going to underperform the benchmark index. Always, almost always. And the longer you invest, the more probability of you underperforming is going to rise and rise and rise so that you're always going to be underperforming. So in the short term, you may get one right. In the, in the long term, you're always going to lose. So a lot of people ask me, Mr. Lu, why do you buy this stock, buy that stock? You know, this stock good, that stock good. No, I always answer the same question and I still get this question, right? I don't stock pick because I can't beat the market. I just buy the index and that's it. It's good enough really. And then we've got a lot of things in our life to settle. We've got to settle our kids, we've got to settle our wife, we've got to settle what food to eat, we got to chase career. I gotta decide what, you know, stay what, what healthy. Yeah, stay healthy, whatever. You wouldn't have the ability. This is guru level, no. Oh, that one's important. Malcolm yeah. just said high risk, high return. Yeah. So generally, you're right. So in order to generate high return, you take high risk. If you take low risk, you get low return. Yes, it's correlated. But when you stock pick and you don't diversify, you don't asset allocate, you don't do any of those things that many, many decades and hundred years of investing has taught us as human beings, we need to learn from our past. If you don't learn from that, you take high risk and, and low, low return or, or negative return. Yeah. That's the problem. And people forget financial service, especially investing, is a professional service. It's like a lawyer or a doctor. You will not like get anybody to just have an operation or change like your you know, operate on your tooth or you, you don't go to court all, all by yourself when you you know when you have a very serious court case. case. You go to a professional. Same thing in financial services. As financial service is a professional service, is regulated by the Monetary Authority of Singapore here in Singapore and the government. And you, as an individual, Shengxi, me, J, uh, JP here, everybody here is licensed. We have to take a test and we have to be licensed by the MAS and say you are a financial advisor or you are a fund manager or you are a stock broker. They're all different licenses. If you want all three, you have to take all these different tests, five different tests, and you have to pass everything. And then you have to work for a financial company that's licensed, registered, audited every year. And then you can provide financial advice or you can manage someone's money as a fund manager. So that's a professional service. And an individual who has no education, who doesn't have a license, and they've never done it before, how can you beat somebody who's been doing it for 28 years in stock picking? Uh, and we have access to great information, all the best investment banks provide us with information, we, you know, have, we analyze the companies and we have so much edge and we get lower cost in transactions. And so you have to rely on professional investors just like you rely on a doctor, just like you rely on a lawyer, it's the same for financial services. The only problem is that financial service companies have not done their job and so they've disappointed. That's why Endowers was created, so that we can help you um, have a better experience. Yes, there are some dentists who are good and bad, we're the good dentist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that is why I tell you guys I don't pick stocks. Yeah. Because I'm no, not good enough. Yeah. Even experts like him say that, yeah, what makes you think you have a chance? Right? Some of you are much better than me, yes. I don't think you're better than him. Okay, I can say that, right? Anyway, so uh, uh, someone asked a very good question. Yeah. But can you share with us what you yourself invest in? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it too personal? No, 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 it's not personal. Okay. I even uh, Straits Times uh, asked me to do me and my money, you know, the whole page thing, and yeah. I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it. So in there, they asked the same question. So I shared a lot of the information. So when I was a professional investor, I used to invest in stocks. And you know, I do single stocks, I trade, you know, I do a lot of different things, invest, private investments, a lot of things. And I'm a professional investor, so I should be better. But my return is okay, you know, slightly better than the market, but not much better. Um, and also, um, most importantly, there's a lot of mistakes I made. And the final thing is that the stock picking is normally like at best 51%. So again, um, you know, stock picking is not easy, even if you're a professional investor. Ever since I left and I'm, now I'm an entrepreneur building this company up with uh, the team here, 
It's very, very difficult. No time. <laughs> I have three kids, building a business, you know, uh, running portfolios for our investors. I can't manage my own money. I can't follow companies with the level of confidence that I need. I need to analyze and follow, and every quarter of the earnings, I have to look at it. News flow, every time I have to analyze no whether chance. it's good or bad. No chance. No so, chance. Zero stock picking. I don't do any stock picking. Listen, even now, no, no time. Zero no stock picking. Because zero. I have a family, I have a business, I have you know health that I need to. I need to work out to stay healthy. Um, I just have no time for stock picking. So a, a lot of the public investment is through Indawas. Um, private investment, which is I poured my own money into Indawas, right? <laughs> so it's my business, just like Premium Mall for Lou and B. You know, you pour in your own money to do what you believe in what you think is going to be successful as well. And so this is, this is my dream job. This is my purpose-driven mission. And so for me, Indawas is really like a, a mission for me. And so for me, this is where I put my money in. And then the final thing is I have a lot of angel investment or private investments because I'm a professional investor and I have a good network of people and I know a lot of startups um, and I know a lot of venture capital. So I have some angel investments both of us I do one or two right yeah both yeah. of us we're in okay. the same investments on some yeah. of them uh, that's actually yeah okay so. cool I'm mindful of the time and there's there's shitload of questions okay I cannot cover them all and I wish that the people there can answer some of the endowers uh, administrative yes, questions they because are, I they cannot are okay different um, forums let's I will go I need you to go rapidly fast okay yes. like quick one fire. or two sentence uh, quick fire answers okay so we can cover them all, mm -hmm. okay? Cover yeah. it all. Totally. I'm gonna ask and just answer in one yeah. sentence or two sentences. I'll just answer quick, okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, any questions, uh, any comments on Singapore REITs? Uh, REITs, in general, they trade like stocks. So they're, they're, they're listed on the stock market, so they trade like stocks. They're not uh, quite expensive. Do you Yield encourage Do you great. encourage people to buy or not? Uh, it's too, as I said, single country, single sector, try not to do it. But okay. we have global diversified real estate funds on our satellite portfolios. You can do global real estate, probably better. Yeah, so basically, yeah, if you're not diversified, don't buy individual REITs. Mr. Lu buys Z. Uh, actually, I do have some REITs that stuck a <laughs> long time ago. Stuck, okay? I think yeah, one or two, yeah. I, but I don't, buy, I don't buy anymore. Yeah. I just answer this quick question. Uncle Lu, nowadays to be S&P 5 and NASDAQ, you just need to buy th three times T triple Q or SPLX or so Yeah. Okay, basically, these are leverage index. If anybody wants to buy them, and if you are, you are not at expert level, you are cutting death, okay? Yeah. yeah, these are weapon of mass destruction. Do you use Robinhood? No. Zero no cost, picking. you know? No, uh, Robinhood is stock picking. Yeah, no, okay, so no. Uh, okay. Robinhood is down 90% from the peak. Okay, do you nominate, do we need to nominate uh, uh, our nom uh, do, do, do you need to nominate nominees uh, for, uh, for investments? Create case, a will for yourself. Uh, if you have a trust brokerage account at Endowas, with the OBKN, fully accessible, but it follows the same procedure as any other brokerage bank account. You have to follow the procedure, but it's safe. And uh, you go, you, if you write a will, it's much easier. Okay. Uh, of all the wonderful products your company have, which one do you personally buy? Oh, so I have my flagship portfolio, uh, especially for SRS and other long-term stuff for my children. Uh, ESG, because I believe in it, uh, although it's done not great, but ESG. No, I have some income portfolios just for cash flow. Um, that's it, yeah. So if you have $10,000 right now, what will you invest in? What would I invest in? I just yeah. put it in the Endowers flagship portfolio. Just easy for me. Okay. I don't want to waste time thinking about things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in the current market environment, environment right now, if the interest rate were to rise, how would it affect some, uh, uh, the investors' uh, fixed income uh, portfolio? Okay. So, Interest rates, there's a lot of questions. I think you also sent me questions yeah. about interest yeah. rates, inflation, uh, Fed hike rates, you know, quantitative tightening, you know, all these things. Okay, first of all, inflation is already peaking because inflation is a year on year number. So it's a percentage number. Um, obviously, the absolute price is still high and rising, but the pace at which it was rising is probably going to slow. So it's going to be less inflation growth, right? Um, with that, the Fed has been raising interest rates, but the Fed interest, in interest rates and the market interest rate is different. Fed interest rate is very short-term interest rate. Market rates can be short-term or long-term, but they move much faster. 
So Fed is at now two point something percent. Market already was at three percent when Fed was less than one percent. So the market interest rate moved faster, and the market interest rate is what drives the returns of stocks and uh, bonds and fixed income. So that has already happened. So unless you think Fed is going to raise rates beyond three point five percent to four five percent, fixed income probably doesn't have uh, a lot of downside. And I would think that fixed income actually, over, if you're a long-term investor, this is probably the right time to go back in because fixed income will probably do well. Okay, I need you to answer a question faster and shorter. Yes. Uh, can you explain in two sentences what is Endower's flagship pro uh, portfolio? So Endower's flagship portfolio includes S&P 500, uh, global, de developed market, emerging market, so very globally diversified uh, and the low-cost portfolio. So one portfolio has everything in it. Okay. So it's like a, a basic package of yes, stuff. Yes, basic package. Basic you package. have everything. It's a core Don't product. Don't use too much brains. Yeah. yeah. Just buy flagship and be done. Okay. A lot of Singaporean investors love dividends. Mm. Love freaking dividends, right? They want to have streams of income. Do you have yep. anything for them? Yeah, we have income products, three income fund portfolios. One for uh, retiring, nearing retirement, need higher, safer, safer income. Middle for sandwich generation who need income and grow their wealth a little bit and another one that has small income but also growing more for younger people and so we have three different income portfolios that give you a stream of income now you have to understand only have income only by dividends uh, paying or yielding products if you need income if you don't need income then why buy income product you need to compound by growing the snowball the snowball effect of compounding has to happen and if you keep taking money out then the returns will go lower and lower and lower so you need to maximize return long term like Mr. Lou does by keeping it inside snowball I, I say many times huh? if you want dividends you don't get compounding you don't get growth yeah. you get growth you got no uh, you got no dividends I think Singaporeans need to get their mindset away from this 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 thing called dividends, dividends, yeah. dividends, right? If you need income, then it's fine. Buy mm -hmm. income. But for everybody else, no need to take out because, you know, it's going to reduce returns over the long term. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, for those people who want to start with Endowers, to start with the... The, the voucher. Eventbrite. The Eventbrite yeah. link that is there, yeah. please click. Yeah, so maybe let me just give a very quick update. We have sent out the emails to everyone, right? So for those of you who have... Uh, you have shared your uh, email address on Eventbrite. We have already sent an email with uh, some message, uh, some some artic, very helpful articles on CPF investing as well as a promo code. You can uh, sign start sign, signing up on our Endowers account and get your twenty eight dollars off through that promo link. So yeah. do check out your email, please. But we're gonna keep it open so more people can sign up, yeah, right? And then yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll close it okay. uh, end of today. Yeah, end so, of today. Yeah, please sign up today, please. Yeah. What, what is the income product call uh, again? Uh, in that was income portfolios. So you sign up, you go in, you get to choose core or satellite or income and then or fund smart and you can choose income. Then you can get into the income portfolio. Okay. But please, unless you need income, don't choose income. Buy flagship or buy S&P 500. But just, yeah. If you need it, then go for income. Yeah. And three different income for <laughs> your age, your need. Okay. What if there's a war between China and US? Hmm. First of all, I don't think that will happen. Me too. So second, because China and the US are not stupid. So yeah. secondly, uh, if, if it happens, uh, then it will be uh, very, very painful for everybody. And a lot of deaths, um, but eventually US will probably win. And that's probably another reason why China won't provoke and war won't happen. But you know, it, it's just a doomsday scenario. So um, does it matter <laughs> what markets will do? Markets will obviously crash and things will be very difficult for a very long time. Okay. Yeah. Um, do, do you, okay, this is a sensitive question. It be sound rude, okay? Mm -hmm. um, everybody, no, there is, many people ask, what if one day and that was crash and burn? Mm -hmm. And in fact, that's not my worry. Yeah. My worry is, what if the other robo advisor crash and burn? Yeah. What will happen to all their money and all our money? Yes. Okay. I cannot speak for others. But as I said, there is a fundamental difference. So there are a few things that are different. One is that uh, the way we built the company is very different. So the culture, the way the company is structured, you know, even the fundraising, our investors. You look at our cap table. Uh, the cap table means the ownership of the company. 
So we have the founders, all of the employees actually own uh, a piece of the company. So we have probably the broadest ownership among any financial institution, among employees. So Shengxi put his own money in, other people put their money in to build the company up to where it is. So we're all owners and business partners as well. So that's very different, very different from other financial institutions. The second thing is our backers, our strategic and uh, financial investors. It's in the deck. You can see who they are. The biggest investors, EDBI. We're the only robo or digital player supported by Economic Development Board and Global Investment Arm, EDBI. The Singapore government is an investor in Endow Us. The other investor is UBS, the biggest private bank in the world. Their first investment in a fintech company, first investment in a wealth company in Asia Pacific is in Dawas. And they vetted us and due diligence, you know, studied us for over a year to, to invest that money. But the other big names are Singtel, you know, homegrown champion, Mr. Lee used to work there, home, home ground. But other guys like Samsung, big brand, uh, Lightspeed and SoftBank Ventures, two of the biggest global venture investors and Z Holdings, which is the line messaging app. So we have a lot of great investors and Process, sorry, Process Naspers, which is the largest shareholder of Tencent, is a shareholder of Indow. So very diversified, but really, really, really big names who are very, very deep pockets, who will support us to grow into the company we want to be versus all the other robos who have maybe one venture company, one venture capital, some other guys, but very small. Um, the other thing is that if, if anything happens to us, our money, your money is safe. So we've always built this in a way that is safe. We're the only ones that have CPF. So we've been approved by the government to manage CPF money. So very different. So everything we do, the way we've built it, the way the company is run, um, the, the future of Indawas is very, very different from, I think, many other players. If they go bankrupt, I don't know. You know, I can't, I can't speak for them. Um, I hope the money is safe and their investors are protected. But there is a risk that you may not be able to access it immediately like we can. So let me be categorically clear here. I put my money where my trust is. Okay? And I'm heading towards a million dollars soon. I'm at 700 and by, by, by yesterday night, it was $733,000 here. I just calculated. <laughs> so it's not a small amount. Okay? I hope to hit a million dollars before I, before I 50, years, uh, is uh, 50 years is over. But I'm confident, right? that yeah. I know something happened in Dallas, which I don't think happened, but let's say something happened, I know I can still get my money to, to U, uh, UOB K again. I yeah. think for those people who did not invest through Endowers and invest in some other robot advisor, you better make sure you know exactly how you're getting your money back should something happen. You're not investing it one day or two day or one month, two months. You're investing it for a long time, you know, 5, 10, 20 years, you know. So I think it's very, very important for you to know exactly, not just some screenshot of what they say. You better have the freaking confidence that uh, you're going to put a lot of money into them, okay? Mm -hmm. So I just, I'm not saying they're all, they're, they're doubtful, but you have to make sure, okay? Yeah. Yes. And so Lou invested in Dallas not because of me, okay, friendship, important, but because of CPF approval, because of, you know, MAS okay. license, because EDBI, EDB and Singtel and Samsung, UBS all invest in Dallas and that's why it's more trustworthy than other companies. Yeah, okay. So just, uh, just very clear, yes, your money is parked under UBK yes. here. And if we never touch your money. Yeah, so you can, should Endowers close down for a reason, which I won't, you won't, you can still sell it to UBK here, right? Of course, yeah. Yep. You can access it anytime you want through UBK okay. directly. Okay, yeah. yeah. so quick question. Do you recommend lump sum investment or dollar uh, cost averaging or regular investment? This question keeps coming out quite a yeah, few times. No, it's an important question, but there's two things. If you do long-term study, lump sum is always better. Like Mr. Liu dumps money in, goes up a long time, it compounds, so it's better. But you must be. it's very difficult <laughs> as an individual to put all your money like all in, you know, bad. So it's psychologically difficult and behaviorally we stress so we try to make it easier by dollar cost averaging or monthly savings plans. Or if you have a lump sum you want to invest, then split it out into maybe three you know, blocks or four blocks, invest over weeks or months if you want, or quarters if you're really worried. Um, but break it out to something that's 
okay for you. It's all up to you because investing is a very personal experience. No one is like you. No one is your age, with your experience, with your money, the amount, and diff people have different goals in life. You know, we use the money in different ways. So it's all about you. You need to think and understand what your risk is, how you want to invest. <coughs> listen to these gurus and listen to Lou and everybody else and read a lot, educate yourself, but you need to make that decision and find what is best for you. We cannot talk and say that this is the best thing for you because we don't know you personally. But once we get to know you, we can tell you this is maybe the best way. And dollar cost averaging and monthly regular savings plan is actually a good way to get into the market if you've never done that. Yeah. No, I, I, I'll be frank with you. This time around is the first time in my life, every time I enter the market, I fire a shot. I even screenshot my, my, my purchase onto, onto YouTube and onto a Telegram to let everybody know. By the way, I have a Telegram channel for some of you who don't know. It's, uh, it's called 1M65 Singapore or something like that, I can't remember. But anyway, but even that, a lot of people will say, Lou, you're dead. You invest in the wrong time or whatever. And I, I'm not going to dispute them. I'm just trying to say it takes a lot of courage and guts and, you yeah. know, yeah, to do that, right? So it's, uh, it's difficult. I understand, right? So, mm. so I can understand why, you know, a dollar cost averaging may be a safer and more comfortable yeah. way. Yeah. Okay. For most people. Uh, there, yeah. Again, there are a lot of people who still ask the question how to sign up in Dowers. There's an Eventbrite link. Uh, YouTube, that, Facebook. YouTube everywhere. and Facebook. You can click there and sign up. It's a process you go through. Okay. Uh, will this video stay or delete? Yes. The best place to look for this video is my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is properly organized. Okay. So everything will be there. On Facebook, sometimes we delete quite a lot because don't forget this is a shopping channel. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're, we are blessed that we got B to let you all have a shopping channel. Yes, okay. So, uh, so you missed the talk, don't worry. They're all on my YouTube channel. Don't miss this talk. It's not every, this might be with the exception, with the exception of, uh, I better code names. Huh? This is one of a rare occasion we have a super guru investor. Okay, yeah, they come, right? I would say that uh, the other person that, uh, no, better don't code names, then the, the people start to compare. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're okay. All good anyway. friends, yeah. All so good friends. Okay. Yeah. All good friends. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. I will take a, a few oh, more yeah. questions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Indawas does everything. So not just CPF, but SRS and cash savings, your private wealth. Um. So we can do everything. And if you if you're like if you have a lot of money and want to do private wealth, we can also offer that. If you have not much money and you want to do just cash stuff then you can do that so we have the whole range of services uh, so please reach out to our support at endows.com or have a consultation we can have 15 minute consultation with client advisors ms licensed client advisors so please reach out and we'll be happy to help you in meeting your needs because as i said everybody's different yeah. how come sam looks nicer on youtube because he got Lou beside who looks terrible. No, no, meaning YouTube that, versus Facebook? Is that... No, no, but bottom line is no. you look good now is... Oh, okay, but anyway, it's know. because Lou yeah. doesn't look good. So when you put yourself against someone who doesn't look good, he look better. Okay. But anyway, I only put real good, solid experts huh, onto my Facebook, uh, our Facebook and our, uh, and our YouTube channels, okay? Really good experts. We don't invite any other guys onto our YouTube channel. I was very exclusive and I don't That's collect a single cent uh, from every one of them, okay? Yep. Yes. Um, a lot of people still asking about Amandi and S&P funded. That we can ignore. I think we, we have I, I just want here. to say this, yeah. okay? All these questions are important. Yeah. What's the customer service email again? Support at endows.com. Support at endows.com. Just write those questions uh, there, okay? Or if you join us late, then you can watch the front part and we'll have explanations. Or as I said, we can reach out. The click the link below. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Um. So maybe last two or have. three yeah. questions. Uh, can pin the Telegram group link. You type one m six. Sorry, one m six five t g plus one. One m six five t g plus one. That will point you to mm -hmm. the Telegram link. If you type one m six five y t plus one, it will send you to the uh, to the YouTube link. Mm. <coughs> Sam, what do you do? How do you do uh, investment for your kids? Oh, for my kids? Yeah. Um, so I try to get them to invest in like stocks and funds and stuff, but they don't seem to be that interested. Um, the, sec the reason I did that was so that they can lose money. I wanted them to try investing and lose some money. 
but they're smarter than I am, so they read, read right through that and they decided not to invest. So they invested in like what kids do, which is invest in sneakers. So they traded sneakers, they did some trading bots. My older son is interested in like computer programming, um, so he was trading bots. So they made money and then they lost money. So it achieved the same purpose. Um, so I'm teaching them um, how to invest, uh, the basics, they're learning from Indawa's content as well a little bit. But I don't know if any of them will become an investor, professional investor like me, and I'm okay with that, so we'll see. But your kids are very young, right? No, 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 I have a 17-year-old, 16-year-old, two boys, okay. and then God bless me with a nine-year-old daughter. Okay, so still very young. Yes. Very young, okay. yeah, still young. Cool, okay, great, okay. So uh, I'm mindful of the time, is reaching five o'clock, okay. So uh, I'll, I'll say again, first of all, you know, Endowers is a company I put my trust in because, and it's clear because I put a lot of money inside, okay. I've known Sam for a long time, uh, you know, it's a, it's a person with great integrity, you know, accomplished skills, investment skills that are, you know, I've been asking him to speak to our group for a long time, okay, but we, we you know, COVID, you know, yeah, busy travels. overseas, I travel, he travel, as well. So we are great to have him uh, coming with, share his uh, Kung Fu, his experience, you know. Uh, so, so really, you know, I, I, I thought, I hope that you all really uh, learn a lot from him, okay. Uh, and, and not to forget, Endowers is a great company, you know, um, I, I put my money in them, I have great confidence, I made a lot of money to them as well. So, um, you know, I hope, uh, you know, you all consider carefully and uh, do what you think is right for you, okay? Cool? Okay? okay. Thank you yeah. so much, Luke. I yeah. want to say thank you as well to the audience, uh, to the 1M65 group who have been long-term supporters of Endowers. I mean, I really have to appreciate because we need, we need more partners and, you know, people who will join us in this mission but also join us in this journey because it's a long journey ahead of us to try to make all CPF members millionaires, to help all Singaporeans achieve financial freedom. We, we need to get there together. And so we need more partners and people to help us get there. And please give us honest feedback as you do today. Uh, and we'll try to improve. We're a young company, so please you know, accept our sincere apologies if there's been any disappointment or things that we have disappointed you in. Uh, but we're always trying. Uh, there's a hundred uh, people here now. We used to be only like 40, 30, 50 people right? in a shop house. So we're always trying, uh, but it's always difficult. Um, you know, the big banks have thousands and tens of thousands of people. Um, so we're always trying. So please tell us what we can do better. And we will continue to work really hard to improve our services and our experience as well. Um, but it's been great. Uh, premium mold. Premium mold clients and fans as well. Thank you so much for having me today. Okay, so you, you have more questions, please write directly to the support at endowers.com, uh, the, the email address, you know, and now we will, I'm sure the people there will be happy to, yeah. The worst case, you can write to me at luchengchuan at gmail.com. For those who are investment related or, but if you are very uniquely endowers related, just write to them directly. Yes. I, I cannot answer for them, okay? Yeah, don't bother Mr. Liu on that one. Yeah, I won't be able to answer for them. Yes, yes, yeah. same thing is from Mandawas, yes. yes. Okay, <laughs> cool, just nice. When we end the, the session, the air con ends. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, thank you uh, for, you know, they're close to, uh, the highest was a thousand people watching us. So, uh, you know, really appreciate all your time over the last two hours. Um, you know, come and say goodbye. Yes. Uh, come be K. Shall we all say Shane, goodbye? Shane, JP, JP. Hey guys, come, come okay, say hi. We, we have a sizable yeah, team. We have here. a sizable team. Cool. <coughs> yes. Everybody come. Say yes. hi. Thank you guys. Thank you. It was Thank fun. You. Okay. Shang Chi, JP from Indawas. Oh, I've forgotten. What? I should get Kate Lu to sing one last song. Yes. Okay. Yes. One last song. Encore. Encore. I, from Kate. Facebook. Yes, yes. Are you allowed? Facebook only. Facebook only. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got I got I got <laughs> off YouTube because YouTube the minute they detect a song that is uh is copyrighted they will ban this video, okay? So, so go to Facebook. Go okay, to Facebook. Go to Premium now. More Facebook. Premium More Facebook. Type premium page. More Facebook. Okay. Subscribe. Yes, just uh, <laughs> All right, subscribe everybody. To Facebook. Okay. Go to Premium, premium More Facebook right now. And just, uh, and Kate will say a good farewell to you yes. guys, okay? If you want to listen to Kate, you go to Premium okay, Facebook cool. now. Okay, cool. Thank, Thank you. you guys. All right. Thank you guys. Okay, we... Okay, I'm... Are you going to start soon? Yes. Uh,
Yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off from uh, see, uh, from YouTube right now. Okay. All right, guys. See you. Thank you.